and welcome to the Irresistible Marketing Pod, the podcast that wants you to know that those growth metrics probably don't mean what you think they do. I'm your host, Issa Gauchi, your marketing confidence cheerleader and owner of the M. Issa Messaging Digital Marketing Agency for Small Business Baddies. Today, we're going to talk about slow growth and why it's sometimes more of a protection than a punishment. So let's dive in. Have you been posting and polishing and honing and showing up only to feel like nothing is happening? With sales, follower counts, email lists, click rates stagnant or wavering or crawling slowly upward? If that's the case, it's easy to feel discouraged when you're putting in so much effort and you still have to wait and wait and wait for the payoff. This is the point when many folks lose the faith, not realizing that the slog is actually a super normal part of a typical marketing cycle. Or, as my mentor Sarah Beyer likes to say, the day that you plant the seed is not the day that you harvest the fruit. In other words, when you start something, it usually takes some time to, you know, gather nutrients under the soil in the dark before you can see any growth before something sprouts and then it takes a while to grow and shoot up and photosynthesize and whatever else plants do before it it blossoms and fruit happens and it's ready to harvest like it usually that's process it takes a while and sometimes it looks like it's not moving and sometimes you can't see anything at all but it's all a normal part of the growth cycle but In those times when everything's happening under the surface, under the soil, or it looks like nothing's moving, um, folks start making this waiting mean something else. They start thinking that nothing's happening um, and not trusting that the things are happening. This is part of the normal cycle. They just can't see it yet. And so they start making up stories and explanations about why it's not fruiting yet, why it hasn't happened yet. And um, they tend to be catastrophic, like their business is doomed or people don't value their product or service or maybe even just people don't like them as a person. And they can really start to go wild here, coming up with increasingly mean explanations about why they're having to wait for the results that they want. And if you're feeling kind of called out here, you're not alone. I'm not immune to this. I get into this brain pattern too. And I have to talk my clients kind of down from the ledge from this too when when they're getting into this mind habit. So if if this is you right now, let's just hit the pause button on this self-bashing session and check in on two much more likely culprits for slow growth. So number one, Are you serving the clients and followers that you already have? So this one's important because how are you doing with the clients that you have already right now in this moment? Because if you're calling in more when you're not serving what's here now, you're kind of sending out mixed messages. So let's check in on this. Are you doing what you said you'd do when you said you'd do it? Are you communicating proactively with your people? Are you responding within a reasonable amount of time? How are you handling friction when it comes up? Ditto with your followers. How are you treating the ones that are already there? Are you giving them useful content that gives them helpful insights, brightens their days, or sparks their creativity? Or does everything you put in front of their face just ask for the hard sell? And when they take the time out of their busy days, out of their school to engage with your content, are you responding to their comments, their DMs, and their reshares to show appreciation for their engagement with your work? And are you engaging with their content and cheering them on? Because if we are not loving up the people who are already here, already investing in us, already investing in our work, already cheering us on, already celebrating us, we are not energetically indicating that we want more of where that came from. We're not energetically indicating that we want more of this. We're coming from a place of lack. We're saying this isn't enough. We don't have enough. 
and we also just aren't treating our people very well. We're, you know, abundant energy is much more attractive energy than desperate energy. It's true in dating. Um, I'm sure it's true, like, which friend do you have more fun going out to brunch with? Like, the friend that wants to tell you every little single thing that's gone wrong that week? Or the friend that is really excited and bubbly and has all these things that are going right and things they're excited about? It's so much easier to feel abundant when you are appreciative of what you already have. Like, the customers you already have, like the followers you already have. And on a practical level, if you are not currently demonstrating a capacity to serve who is there already in your customer pool, in your audience, you might be unconsciously sabotaging efforts to call in more people. Number two thing to check on if your growth is happening slower than you would like it to is Are you taking care of yourself with the clients and followers you already have right now? Because the issue of capacity goes way deeper than just, are you technically delivering on the offer you promised to your customers? Because are you delivering on that offer you promised, but only after working eight hours a week on zero sleep and while super stressed out and never seeing your partner and while snapping at your dog? Because if that's the case... Do you really have space in your life and in your business to call in more people to serve? Because to me, that sounds like you actually don't have the capacity to serve more people. So if you want more customers, if you want more work, if you want more followers, if you want more money, are you serving the people that are already there and still getting enough sleep, staying hydrated, eating when you're hungry? resting, like taking time off work and for fun stuff, moving your body, socializing, having hobbies, spending quality time with your loved ones, going outside, going to the doctor, getting your nails done, doing the stuff that keeps you healthy and happy. Because if you are technically delivering on those offers, but you're not taking care of yourself and you feel like crap, you don't actually have the capacity for more work and more clients. And in a sense, if that's the case, aren't you being protected from more clients so that you can restructure your offers so that you're, that selling more won't hurt you? Because remember, your body loves you. Your body wants to keep you alive. Your body doesn't want to hurt you. So your unconscious might be sabotaging your marketing efforts if your current workload is hurting you. And if taking on more would hurt you worse. So we got to find out a way to make it so that your work stops hurting you so that we don't keep unconsciously sabotaging our marketing efforts. If you want more clients, more followers, more money, make sure you have cleared the space in your life to welcome in that excess, that abundance. The capacity to welcome in more comes down to available space. Space in terms of time, energy, openness to the new, willingness to change. So if your business isn't growing as fast as you like, first check whether you've made space in your business and in your life to welcome in that growth. And we can work together one-on-one to do just that. In my signature season of support program, you and I will work together one-on-one to structure and hone your offers to support the time, financial, creative, and energetic freedom you need to serve your people at your highest capacity. You being one of those people you serve at your highest capacity. And if you'd like to learn some incredible tools for clearing emotional space for greater professional capacity, do come to the Virtual Marketing Witchery Week this May 22nd through 26th, 2023. This is a fabulous program I've put together to help entrepreneurs have better, healthier tools for coping with the emotional challenges that derail so many of us and send us into tailspins. So over the course of three interactive workshops and two group coaching sessions, I will teach you how to source an internal sense of safety, even in the most uncertain of circumstances 
how to alchemize anxiety into creative energy, and how to smooth fear into an incredible ability to nurture yourself and others. In other words, over five days and five short hours, you learn emotional superpowers you can use to create irresistible marketing that feels so good to make and so good for others to receive. It's $99 for an all-access pass to the whole Marketing Witchery Week that includes all three workshops, the two group coaching calls, two recorded guided meditations, and my favorite tarot spreads for marketing confidence and creativity. Great for planning content and what to write in your copy. Or you can get access to the individual workshops and replays for $25 each. Links for how to join Season of Support and Marketing Witchery Week are in the show notes. See you there, witches, and remember to be kind to yourselves, y'all. Thank you.